like Michael Jackson, I be spazzing, making moves. Woo. Been to jail, did my time, learned to pay my dues. Uh. I was active in that cell with a heavy point to prove. I wasn't doing it for the fame, we was dying over rules. Yep. Thugging in the streets, not banging 40. Hey, yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day, feeling blessed. And like I always say, it's one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. So trip out on title on the video. And I know some people are already immediately about to come after me for this, but let me explain. So I had subscribed to this one channel a while back, only because I seen a, a video and a cover. Thought it was interesting. Subscribe to it. It's not a very big channel. And then out of nowhere, about a month or two later, it recommended something to me and it happened to just to be my face and somebody else's face. Being disrespectful, calling us out and all kinds of stuff. And I was like, oh damn, I didn't know he didn't like me. But it's not like I unsubscribed to him. I didn't really care. It's just like, hey, bro, that man's entitled to his opinion. He can hate me with a passion, bro, and make videos about me saying I got a small wee-wee. I don't care, bro. So I never unsubscribed. So today I seen something that he posted. So I'm not going to say it verbatim because it's very disrespectful. But pretty much was like, you know, he was calling the Southerners words, the derogatory words and phrases that Norteños use. And just because Norteños are appearing on No Jumper now, Made it seem like Norteños are taking over Los Angeles, Southern California. And he said, on behalf of, you know, such and such, big bad, the end, gracias. So it made me laugh. And I was like, all right, I'm going to take that same negative concept and I'm going to turn it into something positive. Which I assume a lot of people are going to say I'm being a hater. And I'm really not. I'm just going to speak my mind and speak, it, speak the reality of it, bro. Instead of just adding extras on it or sugarcoating it the way people want to do it all over social media. Now, you had, for a very long time, Southerners taking over these podcasts, and they love to brag about it. Even with, you know, antics like Lefty and Bozo getting mad at Adam for inviting Norteños on a No Jumper, and then they went from not only these famous rappers and podcasters and entertainment, social media members, saying disrespectful stuff and accusing people of inviting other, another group segment or another gang culture, you know, I think it's pretty dumb and hypocritical and haterism in itself, but then you, I heard, I've seen a lot of the audience because that's the best way to gain content and gain perspectives of what's going on is when you read comment sections. People always accusing of Adam of instigating, trolling the Southsiders for bringing Northerners, whatever the case may be. So just because Northerners made a few appearances on no a lot of people are in the assumption in Northern California like, yeah, we're doing big things now. Big, big things. If you can define that going to just a regular podcast, no jumpers big in its numbers. And its quality of content, who they invite, the characters they invite, big names all over social media. If that's your definition of absolute success and that's the takeover, you're very short-minded. You're very, very short-minded because that should just be the beginning. That shouldn't be defined your pinnacle of success because if more northerners just start going to North Jumper, okay, so now you're just following a trend that's already been set before you by southerners, by crips, by bloods by gang members on a podcast that only invites gang members if you don't see the limitation there then like I said you're just short-minded you're short-sighted because yeah that's an opening opportunity and I said it in my other videos they opened up the doors now they got bigger opportunities now because they're gonna get streams from this podcast they're gonna get a fan base from this podcast they're gonna voice their opinions they're gonna present themselves to a bigger audience the rest of the world from there you have more opportunities to look forward to if you can build them and create them by yourself but that's a lot of the mentality i've seen it all over tiktok so many people were posting bands as this against lefty and i would just say you know i want to read the comments because you know california mexicans are divided within itself anyways over prison rules and prison politics and gang colors so i already knew this is going to make good content i want to see what everybody says a lot of northerners a lot of northerners like yeah fool we out there we can go anywhere we could take over anything we're coming for them. We're coming for down south. And I'm like, hold on, man. Wait a minute. That's far-fetched and that's just reaching like crazy. No haterism. Northerners, I know the mentality of Northerners because I used to be one. We all know that. Bro, you can't tell a Northerner you can't go to Southern California. I'm pretty sure every Northerner you tell will be like, man, I'll be over there all the time. Man, I'll go over there all the time. And it's funny, though, because even though bands did a diss track in Lefty's Hood, you know, I, I before I even read the comment section, I was like, bro, I already know what they're going to say. Oh, bro, he was only there for 12 seconds. Oh, yeah, he he went out there in broad daylight when nobody was out. He didn't go at nighttime when everybody's out. 
that doesn't really speak highly of your neighborhood or highly of Southern California when you're not out in broad day, but you're out at night, all tweaked out in a, in a trailer park alley. You know, so I, I knew they were just going to bash him and criticize him because, all oh, he showed up. But he, oh, another thing they said is that, you know, he wasn't dressed up and all red or flamed up like he was in Northern California. What does it matter, bro? You know, I trip out how people just nitpick and pinpoint all these crazy aspects. Like, people really sit there and take all this content, not for what it is, but to really criticize it, crucify it, drag it through everything, and literally try to find every flaw in anybody without giving a man his flowers. I know people want me to give flowers in Northern California for going to No Jumper, and I have. But don't look at it like... It's a takeover just because you made it to No Jumper. No Jumper invites a lot of the gang members, a lot of the gang cultures. That shouldn't be your moment of truth because you made it to No Jumper. And you have Northerners going on there now. Because from a business aspect, he knows what he's doing. We got the Southerners that'll blow up his channel. Now we got the Northerners that'll blow up his channel. He's going to find people that's going to blow up his channel and make his money great. That's just the concept of business. But if more Northerners continue to go on No Jumper, but that's as far as they go... Then it looks bad for all the northerners that are screaming all over social media that we're taking over Southern California. That they're taking over Southern California. They're coming for it all. Because you can still got a long ways to go. Because like I said, I've been paying attention to a lot of social media. And as you can sit there and point all that aspect out, doesn't mean that it can't be accomplished by any Mexican that comes from Northern California. Or any northerner that comes from Northern California. You know, I'm looking at it from an outside perspective because that's what I am now. Just a regular guy that everybody seems to hate. But these Northerners opened up an opportunity for themselves to really make it big, to go beyond Northern California. You know, they don't falter on that. Don't make that mistake and mess this up. Because I'm not going to be on social media wishing them no success. I want everybody to win. I'm still trying to win. And I can't be on here hating on somebody else while I'm trying to win. It doesn't work like that. That's bad karma, bad energy. I want everybody to win. But for the young mentalities and the ignorant mentalities and the stupid mentalities that can't think beyond what's going on all they see is oh man northerners went to no jumper we're taking over southern california bro you realize by making that statement all over social media because he wasn't the first one there's a lot of other people on um and like on instagram and tiktok that every time i would see a post about bands and lefty there was a lot of northerners right there like yeah we're taking over north of this and this and this and that we're going down south now like don't forget I do a lot of content about Southern California, and I have a lot of Southern California gang files and case laws that I'm going to talk about. The men down there are still violent. You know, you're going to go to, I've been to L.A. so many times, nothing happened to me. I mean, I, you won't see me walk into Florencia Tres's neighborhood, or do a music video on Harpy's neighborhood, or go to uh, avenues and just walk around freely. No. Callejones, which some people told me was neutral, Santa Fe, neutral, The Grove, you know, I went to Santa Monica Pier, and I was risky as hell. You still got, man, you still got a 50-50 chance going to Pismo Beach just to go swimming. Gang members might show up. They've been murders there before. So the whole concept of taking over Southern California, that's a big statement to throw around all over social media. But I've been seeing it a lot in, like, the last past eight hours. It's been frequent that I've been seeing that. And I sit here and tell myself, like, just because three or four Northerners are going on No Jumper, that is the concept and definition of taking over the streets of Los Angeles. That You still got a lot of work to do if that's the actual objective, which I know it ain't the objective because I hate to break it to everybody, but your big homies are on the yard in the state of California doing business with each other while you guys are out here just beefing with each other. And just because some of the biggest names and biggest voices have voiced their opinion on social media that they're against the peace treaty they can say that all they want all over social media and on their instagram pages and in their rap lyrics let them go to prison right now in the state of california i want them to voice that same opinion on the yard i said this before so why everybody's beefing on social media and your big homies are literally on cell phones with each other calling each other carnales Hey, uh, I got something for you over here. Come pick it up. Send some of your soldados, some of your crew members to go pick it up. I'll bless you. Cheap prices. Bring it up north while we're up north. Mind you, you know, the Mexican mafia has strong ties in Frisco, San Jose, Salinas, Tulare County, and they took over Bakersfield. Has the NF established any regiments in Los Angeles? So there's still an uphill battle, not only from within the prison system, but outside. If you really want to make that statement all over social media like we're going to take over LA. You shouldn't be looking at it in that aspect. 
You should be looking at it like, man, we opened up the door for ourselves. Let's make it big now. Stop trying to compare yourself to Southerners like, oh, man, we're going to be in movies next. Or we're going to do this next. You got to slay the beast. The same voices that have been all over social media saying Northerners can't do this, Northerners can't do that because we've already done it. They'll never be big like us. You should be ready to break down those barriers, break down those walls, and accomplish those goals to stun on people. Instead of utilizing one platform, having four guests on there, and make it seem like you're taking over the streets of Los Angeles. Because that is a big war. And that is a big statement. Los Angeles took over Los Angeles, to be honest with you. That is a lot of gangs. That is a lot of power. With the Sinaloa cartel right there as well. And all these other cartels that are you know, really using that LAX as a distribution center for the United States. Making that statement. And I see where it comes from. Either like, oh, we're going to take over. What? Northerners are going to go to Southern California every once in a while and throw a party, mess with some hyenas, and, you know, hook up with some people, you know, show up to a podcast, maybe do a music video down there. That's not really taking over. Yeah, you're leaving your footprint somewhere. You're leaving your mark somewhere. But it's, it's equivalent to, you know, just you taking your dog for a walk and he takes a, a piss on, on, on a rock or a bush. Yeah, you were there at some point in time, but you're not there now. Just look at it like this, man. Now you got big, legitimate, and I use the word legitimate highly, legitimate reasons to go down south to make it big, to really network, because that's where everybody goes. I'll never forget the concept that Mozzie said on one of his albums, that he, when he moved to L.A., it was over. That's where he blew up, L.A. where it's at. And I always thought to myself, maybe that's where some people need to go to really chase their dreams and success. It's out there. The availability is out there. So... If, if Northerners got to go to L.A. just to break those barriers and climb the ladder and reach heights that they've never reached before. Because think about it. I can tell you right now, anybody that touches gold toes down south, I'm pretty sure they're going to end up by their big homies. I can tell you that right now. And any big name coming from Southern California go up north and the Northerners touch them. Yeah, the Northerners will be praised up north. It's going to cause a bigger issue in the penal system. Some big homies going to have something to say about it. It's going to raise an eyebrow. It's going to be questioning a lot of things because everybody's still forgetting that what you guys do out here, you know, there's still peace within those walls. So all those northerners that you say free him and free him and the homie went down for this. He's a down homie. But he's walking the yard with southerners and southerners are walking the yard with northerners shaking hands, busting spreads. Don't forget about that aspect. Because all the disturbance and gang feuds and gang wars and gang violence that's going to take place on the streets, you're going to upset the established order in the penal system. Don't disturb that peace. Because when you disturb that peace, there's going to be a lot more dead bodies. There's going to be a lot more bloodshed. There's going to be a lot more people deemed no good. And everybody's going to wonder why. Because everybody was having fun and games and for entertainment purposes all over social media. That Northerners were all in Southerners area saying they were taking over. Saying they were selling dope, went down there to sell their weed to a bunch of people, promote their music. Got into a gang ride with some Southerners in Southern California. Word's going to travel to the penal system. And when these two big organizations start questioning each other, like, why are your homies down south making up, uh, why are your homies down south kicking up dust, making a mess, disturbing the peace? You know, what do you think the NF's going to do? Since they're very little in numbers, they don't have the kind of power that the Mexican Mafia has. What do you think is really going to happen? You think they're just willing just to throw the peace treaty all out the door because everybody on society for entertainment purposes all over social media and all these big talkers and big posts and captions is really going to disturb that peace? You think they're really going to let that slide? I read that statement. I'm like, man, you always got to turn something to a negative, just a negative aspect. That's all people can see nowadays. I don't care that you're part of the gang. Be proud of your gang. Bang your gang to the fullest. Trust me, I don't want no actives to be in my position. Label this, label that, a big target. Trust me, I don't want that for you. I just want you to walk away from it or at least make some educated decisions and right decisions and say, you know what, I am what I am, but I'd rather raise my family and go to this job than go to that penal system and eat these spreads. That's all I'm saying. I'm just giving you a chance to really open your eyes. That's it. Not but like people use this social media to really say what they want to say, knowing that they can't get in trouble for it. Knowing that even if it does instigate situations like some of these comment sections on YouTube or on Instagram or on TikTok, you know, it looks funny. It looks innocent because, oh, it's just in the comment section. But you'll be surprised how many people are going to get aggravated and irritated and instigated because of those comment sections. That's why if it's negative in my comment section, I don't even respond. Hey, man, how'd you, I hope you had your fun. Now, that was your five seconds to really get at me. I appreciate it. There's nothing else I could tell you. 
Because all I'm going to see now is a lot of Northerners are going to get more arrogant because of what Bands did. Like I said, he did good with his music video, up the score, raised the bar, high expectations. That's a done deal. But it's not going to happen every time. And it's going to be getting away with every time. No, now that Southerners know that Northerners are willing to go to their neighborhoods, a lot more people are going to be outside. And that's just very unfortunate that something might happen to somebody if they continue to think that this is okay. Instead, some of these Northerners should just be proud. You know, that's what you're supposed to do for the Norteño cause or for the Norteño identity was create movements, pave the way. See, the way was already paved for a lot of these people that still haven't even been to jail yet up until this point. So what are you going to do next? Are you going to remain stagnant and say, all right, we're Northerners, we're going to stay in Northern California, we're going to have our red rags, and we're going to do our diss songs and make our Norteño albums, and that's it? Your cause is going to die out much faster than you think. So take this as an opportunity that some of the Northerners and Norteño rappers are paving the way for bigger things now. Follow your homies in the right direction, not the wrong direction. Go where these Norteños are going. They want to go to L.A. They want to go to Texas. They want to go to New York. They want to go back to Florida. Follow them on their endeavors. Instead of following your big homies and going to the penal system or your homies that ain't, are throwing their lives away in the neighborhood anyways that are going to make you throw your life away, go chase success with everybody else. Don't be arrogant about it because trust me, we've seen on social media and the arrogant you get and the ego that you develop because of social media, because of these fame, these views, trust me when I tell you it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it because you will crash hard. We've seen a lot of rappers, a lot of social media entertainment presences really crash out, really burn, really lose it all because it gets to their head. So I guess my best advice is don't get ahead of yourself too much. And I'm talking about just to the Northerners that were continuously saying we're taking over LA. Bro, that is a big challenge. That's a big reach. I'm just going to say that plain and simple. That's a big reach. LA is LA. Don't forget that it's still LA. It's a beautiful city, beautiful buildings. But so is San Jose. So is San Francisco. Besides seeing all the smokers take dumps on the sidewalk when you're trying to go to the mall. That was disgusting. And then parking uphill. That's just, man, that's just weird. You know, some of these guys need to be taught the right way don't don't always look at everything from a gang aspect not everything is a gang aspect every time you see the color red what do you do just salute it and say pro norte no bro like this is an opportunity for a lot of your homies that you look up to that you inspire to be or you should inspire to be so really go out there and chase a bag chase a dream make something of yourself like them but don't look at it like just because they showed up to a podcast a couple of times Oh, man, you done took over the world. The world is yours, man. You still got a long ways to go and a lot more that needs to be accomplished. But do it for all the right reasons. Don't do it for the negativity because you want to look bad on social media. Like it's 2024, bro. Can we start thinking a little bit different? That's all I'm saying. So with that being said, like I always say, is one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. Peace.